Hey, shalom family at this time. May the all peace of y'all be reaching there, one of you brothers and sisters. To all those who are coming into the knowledge of, of the creator, Yah, and your identity, who you are, brothers and sisters, at this time. This is a very important video. Um, because I've been talking about the migration, the uniting, the rallying together by the, the flag of Yah, the banner of Yah. Yah, that he given up to us as a sign, brothers and sisters. And we, um, we lift up these flags, the banners, that you see this banner behind me, brothers and sisters. It's a sign to rally, to, um, to uh, honor the, uh, the name of the great creator, Yah. Yes, who created all things, brothers and sisters, heaven and the earth, above and below, my brothers and sisters. So, I want to read this piece in Proverbs chapter 6 and, verse, and starting with verse 6. And we go back to the basic teachings of y'all told us about the ants. So um, there's a very important part right here to take the heart and mind, brothers and sisters. If you can understand this, brothers and sisters, you'll understand what we must do. In verse 6 it says, take, the, take a lesson from the ants. You lazy fellow, learn from the ways. Is it learn their ways? Is it learn their ways? And be wise, for they have no king to make them work. Yet they labor hard all summer and gather food for the winter time. So I want to keep that right there, that point right there, brothers, because it's very important, brothers and sisters. The ants have no king to make them work, but yet they, they, they labor hard all summer to store up for troubled times like when they get cold, the cold season. So the scripture so translates to consider these ways. It's to learn these ways and be wise. And we're in that same similar situation, brothers and sisters. We have no king. While we, brothers and sisters, in captivity, brothers and sisters, and yet we, we near that point of being released to, uh, to rally, to unite, to migrate. Yes, the knowledge is going out, brothers and sisters, so we, we're so close. But this knowledge must be given. This knowledge got to be given to the remnant. The remnant must, um, those who trust y'all must rally, unite, to come together, to get an order, to get in line with Yah. Get the instructions, get this knowledge. It's very important, brothers and sisters, at this time. And that's why I bring this basic lesson that you consider the ants. It's very important to study out the ants, brothers and sisters, and, and I did from time to time. Which it, it, it encouraged me when you obey Yah, just the simple things he tell you to do. So I observe the ants. It say, take a lesson from the ants, you lazy fellow. Learn from their ways and be wise. And though they have no king to make them work, yet they labor all summer gathering food for the winter. And anybody be outside to see these things, they will come into your house. Any place to gather food, brothers and sisters. In some cases, you literally, you know, I, I hate to do these things. I, I hate to do these things, brothers and sisters, sometimes. But sometimes, to keep them out your house, you got to uh, feed them uh, poison. Yes, I know. And they're only doing their work, brothers and sisters. And they, they're always hunting. They're always looking. And, and, and ways, brothers and sisters, they come to find, to search, and to gather, brothers and sisters. And this they make up year after year, brothers and sisters. They do these things, brothers and sisters. They make shelter for the winter time and store up food to eat. So we need to follow these as, uh, examples as well, brothers and sisters. That's what I'm just saying. Um, look to these things. This will give you uh, uh, encouragement. 
And right now, we're at that same state. All y'all tell us to do some things, to obey him, to repent, to confess our sins. When we do these things in, in the proper season before the troubles come, the worst trouble, and we sit all before us, brothers and sisters, time is getting worse and worse. Especially for our nation, brothers and sisters. But all y'all give us a way out of these things to, if we just obey him. And don't be lazy, slow food, you know, slow to act, to obey the words of Yah, to rally and to prepare. And yes, there's going to be some dark days ahead, brothers and sisters, terrible days, but the, the remnant of Yah promised to protect and to save. But he required for us to do certain things. You got to have that knowledge to work, to migrate. Yes, we got to work together. We got to um, build together. Make things uh, comfortable, uh, comfortable as, as um, possible. But we cannot stay scattered. That's not in the plans of Yah. His plan is for us to rally, unite, to be, get organized, to migrate, wait by the coastal lines until the time of the ships. You can see that in, in, in Yahshua, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 9. How he said the ship's going to come for those who wait by the coastline. For him. Yes, we got to do these things, brothers and sisters. We got to obey him. Yes, Abiyah, he said he promised to deliver us. But certain things in the prophecy he tell us we must do. One thing he tell us we must repent. See that requires uh, uh, action on our behalf. He not gonna repent for us. He said we, uh, we, we repent and turn back to him. He turn to us. And he gives us all the instructions what to do, brothers and sisters. And as we obey, and then he will do certain things. For us to deliver us, he said the nations going to help us return back home. They're going to bring your sons and your daughters from afar. These are the words of Yah from the prophets. All these things it was in the prophet reserved for this time period. And in my other videos, I show these things. I give you the scriptures to point these ways to you. About the flag and how we we lift up the flag, the banner, that bears the name of Yah, Red Dead. You see, right above you, Red Dead. Yah, your hate, exhorting the mind in the name of Yah. What he said, he gonna make his name great in all the earth, and he said all the earth gonna see this migration, which is salvation. Another term for uh, migration, when you see it. Concerning us in this time period is salvation, the, 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 the mighty deliverance, the great exile, the great uh, Aliyah back home to Zion. When that time of our migration, at that point of migrating, the, the remnant, that's the time, that's the sign to show you that the covenant, I mean, excuse me, not the covenant, the captivity, the punishment been lifted off of us. That's the mighty sign, my dear brothers and sisters. When the, when the scripture said, and, and my captives went free. And the earth going to see this great uh, deliverance of Yah. And if you're going to understand, it was Yah who did it, brothers and sisters. Without seeing Yah, but they're going to see us, the moving, the body, the nation of Yah, move. And one thing they're going to know that we are the nation of Yah by Red Dead. Saying the name of Yah in our banners, in our flags, Kodesh to Yah, dedicated to Yah, all of our banners and our flags to Him alone deserve all the honor because this is this is His deliverance, not our own deliverance. It's all by the plans in the working hands of Yah. That's why it's called the Liyah. Brothers and sisters, take this to heart. That's all I have to say in this video with that. I told that y'all. Hallelujah.